Hey guys, so today we are gonna be doing a Will I Buy It? Um, I just wanna mention a couple of things before I get started. One, if you like this makeup look, I will uh, link everything that I have on my face down below, but I do a trying new makeup video which will be coming in about two or three days that'll be coming up on my channel. So if you do like this look, definitely keep an eye out for that. And also I just want to mention the dress that I'm wearing because you guys, still surprising to me, <laughs> I'm always so shocked, but so many of you ask me what I'm wearing. And this was another H&M find. I absolutely love it. I will link it down below, but it's like a cotton poplin olive colored dress and it has like puffy sleeves but not like the gigantic puffy sleeves that I've been wearing with my t-shirts um, and it is pretty much for me I'm 5'5 five five, it's pretty much ankle length and it has two sets of like pleats here so there's one here and then there's one down by my knees and I love it it's just like the dress I talked about in my was it my haul video? Yeah, I think I followed up on like the black dress that I was going to return and then ended up keeping, but it's like perfect for these times because I don't really need to get dressed up or anything, but I don't wanna just spend all day in my pajamas. It is like the worst thing for my mental health and my hygiene. It's kind of gross. I'm not saying that I don't do it, but those days where I like wake up, don't get changed and then go back to sleep in the same clothing, I don't feel good. So anyway, I've just really come to love these kinds of dresses that I throw on. They feel like pajamas, but I look a lot nicer. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. I will link it down below in my description box, um, but let's go ahead and jump into some new releases and let's talk about them. Let me share my thoughts about them with you. All right, I saw some preview pictures on the O Angel Instagram feed, which I will list down below in my description box also, like all of the Instagram feeds that I use. But she posted a picture of the Guerlain Brazilian Club Summer 2020 pieces. One piece looks like they're bronzers that they always come out with in like a wooden packaging. And then looks like there is the limited edition summer meteorites. Yes and yes, I will definitely be picking these up. I'm really excited for it. I usually always get the wooden case uh, bronzers, um, at least for the past several years. I think I have three of them. And they're big and they're clunky, but they're just, they're so, so cool. And they use like a different kind of wood every year. And they're just, they're really beautiful. And I generally really like the product inside. So definitely picking that up and definitely picking up the special edition meteorites for sure. It looks like it's going to have like a peachy, pinky tinge to it, which will be very, very pretty over, if I do ever get a tan this summer, over like bronzed skin. So those are definite yeses for me. And look at that packaging. It just looks fun. It looks summery. Love it. I'm very, very excited for this. So that is the Guerlain Brazilian Club Summer 2020. Sisley looks like they're coming out with some new makeup for summer 2020. I'm just gonna say yes. You guys know I am such a fan of Sisley's. I'm not even exactly sure what is included in this collection. It looks like pressed powders, looks like their lip oil and their Le Fito Rouge lipsticks. Maybe they're either re-promoting a color or coming out with like a special summer color. I'm not sure about the lip products, but I definitely, definitely want to check out whatever is in that compact. Oh, I'm swiping left. I completely forgot to swipe. Oh, so the lip oils. Ooh, looks like they're coming out with a whole bunch of new like shades. Some of them look like there's a little bit of shimmer to them. I'll probably pick up a few of those. Those look really, really beautiful. And I like their lip oil formula. It's very comfortable. It's very, very nice. It's great in the summertime, easy to wear. And then it looks like, oh, it looks like maybe they're coming out with some new eyeliners. Okay, so that is exciting. I'll definitely have to take a look at the eyeliners. I did not have good luck with their um, star eyeliners, I think they're called. They have the little glittery bits in there. That didn't really work out for me. I felt like the bits were like a little bit too gritty for my taste, but I do like their satin finish or just their regular finish eyeliners. Those are very, very nice. So I'll just have to take a closer look at these to see if they have like little bits in them. So that is coming from Sicily this summer. Very, very excited. And then NARS looks like they're coming out with the cushion foundation with an SPF 50, and it's supposed to be launching on April 22nd. I don't know. I'm, I'm really on the fence about cushion foundations. I'm actually wearing one today, which again, you'll see in an upcoming video. And so far it looks 
really nice on my skin. I do want to say, I think that they're improving. I feel like the earlier cushion foundations that I tried, they just, they didn't wear very well. But the Tom Ford ones, I really, really enjoy. I really enjoy the Sisley one. I also don't really get along with NARS foundations. I'm not sure about this. The packaging looks incredible though. I really love that like silver chrome um, square packaging. It just looks so, you know, modern and futuristic. I do really like that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll wait for reviews on that and see what people think. That's a maybe. That's a solid maybe <laughs> for me. And then I talked about the NARS like bronzers that were coming out. I didn't have a lot of information on them. Um, I wasn't sure what was happening. It all looked very interesting to me, but it looks like They've just made like shimmery and matte bronzer versions. And I'm not that familiar with the NARS bronzer line because the Laguna bronzer didn't work out for me. It just looks very, very dirty on my skin. The shade just doesn't work. And so I've never really gone down the NARS like rabbit hole when it comes to bronzer. So I don't know if these shades are repromotes or if they're completely brand new. I'm kind of interested in the shimmery one, but I don't know, that's another kind of like, maybe but probably not situation and then the lip glosses look really pretty but not enough for me to actually pull the trigger so i think i'm gonna pass on all of these but if you guys know whether or not the shades in here are actually brand new will you please let me know down below in the comment section because maybe the lightest one would work for me a little bit better than laguna ever has oh so guerlain is coming out with another like little capsule collection for summer 2020 and it's for eyes so it looks like they're gonna have some shadow sticks a liquid liner. Uh, what is that? Is that another liquid liner? I wonder if that's one of their like powder liners. It's the liner that comes in like the inkwell kind of design. Uh, I wonder what that's about. And then a mascara. I don't know. I don't know if I'm interested in any of these. Mascaras never excite me. The shadow sticks could be nice, but I feel like I really like the By Terry. I really like the Laura Mercier. I just don't know that I want any more, but I guess it depends on the colors, if the colors are really pretty. And then liquid eyeliners, I don't use that often, so I'm probably going to pass on all of this. Surprise, surprise, you guys know how much I love Guerlain. But yeah, I think I'm going to pass on, on all of this, unless of course the shadow sticks have some really fun colors. So La Mer has come out with a new bronzing powder. They always come out with a limited edition one for the summertime. It usually has some sort of mixture of like a blush in there. Sometimes they throw a highlight in there as well. I've already gone ahead and purchased this uh, from Nordstrom when they put it up and I actually shouted it out on my Instagram account um, in case you guys were interested in purchasing it. I wanted to let you guys know that it was there. So if you are interested in like new releases and stuff, definitely follow me on Instagram. I do like to post on my stories when new products are available because these days I feel like things are just, oh, they're just like selling out so quickly. So anyway, I went ahead and purchased this, but I have not received it yet. You know, everyone's kind of like slow on the shipping these days, which is totally fine. Um, but I think I'll be getting it in a couple of days and I will definitely do a video on that or at least incorporate it into a trying new makeup because I have a lot of their previous year's uh, bronzing powders that I can compare to and I can compare it to some other bronzers that I have that I've been loving too. So that is a yes. I did purchase that already. Um, and that's the La Mer bronzer for 2020. Oh, and just an update on those Tom Ford Face and Illuminate uh, palettes. They were available on the Tom Ford site and I ordered three of them. The one that I did not get is the blue green one. That was actually not available by the time I made it over to the Tom Ford site. But in looking at it a little bit further, I do think that that particular palette is for deeper skin tones. When I look at the two face products, I don't think that I could have used them. I maybe could use the highlight side as a bronzer, but the bronzer side is much too deep for my skin tone. So I probably would have passed on that anyway, even if it was available, but I did get the other three um, and I got an order confirmation, but I have not yet gotten a shipping confirmation. So we'll see. And when I get orders from Tom Ford, they're coming from the East Coast, they take forever to get here. So I don't know when they'll actually arrive, but I did order them and apparently they're going to be showing up at like stores in May. So a couple more weeks until they probably start appearing on like Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus, etc. Another new release that I did purchase that should be coming soon also, which I will uh, do a video on, is the Tom Ford Glow Tinted moisturizer with SPF 15. So Saks was having um, a 15% off sale on this. So I ended up getting it there in the color Fawn, uh, which is 4.0. I usually get Buff, which is 2.0. 
Uh, in the Shade and Illuminate foundation, I got 4.7, which worked for me also. So I ended up getting 4.0 Fawn because they only had one shade that was lighter than the Fawn and it was like very, very fair skin tone friendly. So that would definitely would not have worked for me. So hopefully the Fawn will work, but once I get that, I will definitely film a video for you guys. So that is the Tom Ford Glow Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15. Oh, and then it looks like La Mer is actually coming out with more stuff for summer 2020 on top of the bronzer. I'm not sure what this is. Hold on. I'm on the O Angel uh, feed again, and it's in Russian. So, so it looks like they're going to have a face cream with SPF 30. Oh, and maybe that's like a cream to powder foundation that I see. Oh, interesting. And all of this is going to be on sale in Asia on May 15th. So I don't know if that's going to be coming over to the U.S. And if it does, I don't know any dates or anything. But that's very interesting. I'm not generally like a uh, powder foundation person, so I'd probably skip on that. But I am interested to see like what those other two products are, if it's just a cream or if it's like a tinted cream. But I wonder if it's like similar to the reparative skin tint, which you guys know I love. So that's very, very interesting. Oh, also just an update on a previously mentioned product, the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. This is a product that I ordered also. Uh, again, I don't really know when any of these products are going to be showing up because, you know, shipping is a little bit off nowadays. Totally fine. Um, but I did order that. I wanted to let you know, and I will be doing a video on this as well. So just waiting for a lot of things to come in. I'm really, really excited. I really love like spring, summer, makeup releases because I feel like it's more my aesthetic like the foundations end up being a little bit lighter and like you know they come out with like lip oils and lip glosses versus like matte lipsticks it's just so pleasing to me so I'm really really excited for a lot of these releases I almost forgot to check the trend mood one Instagram feed how could I Viziart is coming out with another edit palette so it's their smaller panned uh, palettes that have 12 different shades in there and they have a spritz edition coming out. I'm on Viseart's PR list so I hope to get this palette. If they don't send it to me I'm gonna run out and get it but this looks really beautiful to me. I love that shimmery coral shade in there. I love that golden shade that looks like it could be kind of like a orange duochrome in there. Just beautiful, beautiful. You guys know I am such a lover of Viseart shadows and their color stories and all of their little palettes absolutely love them. So very excited for this spritz palette from them. And Charlotte Tilbury looks like she's coming out with a couple new uh, skincare products, the Magic Serum Crystal Liquid and then a Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. Oh, okay, sorry. It's the Crystal Elixir line. So there's a Magic Serum and a Magic Lip Oil. I am probably gonna pass on these. I tried Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream, which everyone loves, but it gave me a little bit of a rash. And there was another product of hers that I tried. It was kind of like a primer. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it is. But that gave my skin some texture too. So I kind of stay away from her skincare products. They just, they just don't suit me. You guys know I love her makeup line, but the skincare, definitely not for me. So I'm gonna be skipping those. And Kosas looks like they're coming out with a baked bronzer. These look beautiful. I love that kind of sheen to bronzers where it's like just this really smooth satin sheen. Oh my god, absolutely gorgeous. Does this say when it's coming out? Oh, April 14th. So very, very soon. This will be a great ad for the Sephora VIB sale. <gasps> very exciting. I'm very excited for these. I don't know if I would get the light or the medium. No, I think the light would do it. I'm looking at the swatches now. I think the light would do it. Yeah, that looks so, so pretty. Ooh. Ooh, and Becca has come out with a new limited edition shimmering skin perfector pressed. It's in the shade Own Your Light. The packaging looks really cool. It looks kind of like a pinky oil slick kind of packaging. And then the highlighter itself, let's see. Oh, it's like a, it has like a peachy pink kind of shift. As pretty as it looks, I think I will probably pass on this. I don't mind a pink highlight every once in a while, but this actually reminds me of the Melt Cosmetics, the Amore Eterno highlighter that came out, and I really like that one. So I definitely don't need multiple of this kind of like peachy pink, um, kind of shifty highlight. So I'll pass on this, but this looks really, really pretty. I like the packaging. Oh, and Becca also came out with um, liquid light highlighters. Are these called the Ignite? Let's see. 
Yes, the Ignite Liquefied Light Highlighters, a liquid weightless highlighter for face and body that gives skin an all over pearlized glow, transfer and water resistant. It's infused with an energizing fragrance blend of juicy pineapple, which I love, fresh coconut and orange flower notes. Oh, nice. Each with sunflower oil and vitamin E for all day moisture. Uh, there are five shades and oh wow, these look really, really, really glowy. Well, I'm definitely not putting that on my body. I always hope to turn into that person who will like put a little bit of body makeup on. It's never happened and it probably will never happen. And I have so many, so many cream and liquid highlights. I think I'll probably pass on these. Not that they don't look beautiful. They definitely look very, very beautiful, but I just have so many. And these are like big bottles, but I just got those Chanel, um, highlighting fluids those are each one ounce bottles of highlighter fluid so anyway i'm gonna pass on these mainly because i have plenty but these do look really really pretty all right so that is it for this will i buy it um i want to let you know that i will be putting up a sephora vib sale recommendations video um, i believe the sale starts this friday the 17th so i'll either be putting the video up wednesday or thursday so definitely keep an eye out for that i'm going to be limiting that video i'm not going to be just going over absolutely everything I love. I've done that in the past. It ends up being a very long video. So I'll be doing 10 picks for that video and I'll also be sharing with you what is in my shopping cart, what's on my wish list for that sale. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and home if you can. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.